Have you heard the one about Stone Cold Steve Austin? Because if not, you might be in for a bit of a shock. Despite announcing his retirement formally in 2003, losing to The Rock at WrestleMania 19, we did see Stone Cold Steve Austin at last year's WrestleMania 38, competing in the main event of Night 1 against Kevin Owens. And there's been a huge amount of interest from all comers as to whether we will see that again. Will Stone Cold Steve Austin make WrestleMania 39? Well, let's talk about it because the WWE certainly hope so. They've been in direct negotiations with Stone Cold Steve Austin for months now. Initially, the idea was he'd be in for a marquee match, for example, replacing the idea of The Rock for double duty for Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns was always going to be facing Cody Rhodes in the main event of WrestleMania. But they were looking for a marquee match for the Universal Championship that Roman could win. A victory over, for example, The Rock or Stone Cold Steve Austin, followed by on the second night, a loss to Cody Rhodes, was very much the plan that they were aiming for. Stone Cold Steve Austin's availability has been tested, though. He does not believe, to quote the man himself, that he can keep up with the young lads in the, in the scape of Roman Reigns. It's very difficult for someone to come in with very little preparation to compete at the level of a Roman Reigns, especially when you consider that Roman Reigns likes his matches to go 40 minutes. You get a lot of time to lay down, sure, because he's a dominant player, but he's very difficult to keep up. Steve Austin was offered a lot of money and Roman Reigns in a championship match that he would admittedly lose, but turned it down. There were other options available. Brock Lesnar was named afterwards, and Brock Lesnar is someone else who Stone Cold Steve Austin turned down. However, we have seen negotiations continue. We have seen Steve Austin working hard to get into in-ring ready shape looking for a particular match. The latest rumours are that Steve Austin will be taking on L.A. Knight. Now, Steve Austin told NBC Los Angeles, and I quote, You have to understand that I retired in 2003, so it's been a long time, so I'm over it. But when I walked away from the business of sports entertainment, I endeavoured into other things. I work with Kawasaki Motorsports in the side-by-side -side division, I'm in the beer business, and I do other things. Coming back to do something from time to time is fine, because I love my relationship with WWE, but my days in the ring are done. Although, I did do the main event at WrestleMania last year in Dallas, but that was kind of a fluke and we pulled it off. It's good to be back and see some of the faces, but I've been gone for a long time and I do not miss it. Stone Cold Steve Austin openly saying he doesn't miss it, however he has been in direct negotiations with the WWE for several months. The so WWE are trying to get him back out of retirement one more time. And this is undoubtedly part of the brainchild of our very own Vince McMahon, who seems to wiggle his way into everything recently. The idea of Steve Austin versus LA Knight has been pitched. LA Knight has been used on TV in the effort to draw Steve Austin out of retirement once again, but Steve Austin has not had the in-ring training that he would necessarily be expecting. It is possible he's brought into the ring for a free four-minute squash match, Personally, I don't see that doing much for LA Knight's career, and I don't see Steve Austin being someone who wants to do that to someone of LA Knight's potential caliber and potential future in the business. Steve Austin versus Kevin Owens may well be a once-in-a-lifetime moment, and while Stone Cold Steve Austin has said he has certain regrets, not working with John Cena, for example, is one of them, it doesn't look like we're going to see Steve Austin at this year's WrestleMania. This, by the way, is also one of the reasons we are now seeing two fatal four-way tag team matches lined up. The idea being that certain big matches that were initially planned, Bobby Lashley versus Bray Wyatt, for example, the tag team championship match, Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler versus Damage Control, or versus Becky Lynch and Lita, as we've ended up with, have been cut from the card. There are question marks about a number of other matches, for example, how long Brock Lesnar versus Elmos can actually go in a ring. So they were trying to bring in other potential matches. Stone Cold Steve Austin has been approached about LA Knight. Instead, it looks like we are getting fatal four-way tag team matches instead. For more updates on this, stay tuned to the Tom Collihue channel, and I will see you very soon.